Hey guys, it's Alex and today I've got another After Effects tutorial for you and today I'm going to be going over how to make stars and smoke in After Effects Now that might sound a bit odd to you but um, I've used it in intros before and it's just something to go in the background and uh, just it's quite a useful thing to know and uh, outline some more skills that you could use when you're using Trap Code Particular or that we'll be using in this tutorial so I'm actually in the process of making an intro at the moment. I've got a Cinema 4D render here, and I want to add some sort of part, uh, st sort of starry bits and smoke into the um, background of this. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to I've got the project file here with the, just a render, but I want to get the camera into After Effects so I can. Um, so I can make the stars interact in the 3D space which is just going to blend it in and make it look a lot nicer I didn't mean to go on that but anyway so I want to get this camera into After Effects so what we can do is we can go up to our render settings and I've already actually done it but we can go compositing project file and we can just check save make sure it's After Effects and we can include the 3D data and we can just save this in your folder and what this is going to do this is going to essentially export this file and then so when we go back into After Effects, we go project and then we can import. We can import it like so. And that was from earlier. Um, we get a group and then we get a composition. And it's clever if you actually already rendered it out, it will work out which render it is and it will already put it in. But we only want this camera, so I'm just gonna copy that. And I'm just gonna put this into my main composition and then I'll just line it up, so now we've got a camera there, like so, so now that should be affecting everything and if I was just to click U, you can see all the keyframes so what we can now do is we can go layer, new, solid, and we can call this particular stars like that, and we can search up trap code particular in our effects and drag that onto our layer now if I was to solo this, you can see that it's already interacting with it because it would normally be in the center like so and but that's already reacting with the camera which is great so what we can do is we can like go down to emitter and instead of being at a point we can change it to box uh, we can probably boost all the particles to about 250 and we can set and we can just mess around with this box size we want it to fill the whole screen and space space all of them out obviously your things probably going to be different and uh, you can increase the depth as well and you just want to mess around till you get something that looks quite good uh, like so I think that looks reasonable and it's probably put depth up like so and now if we move to the rotate around you can see that they're actually reacting to the camera which is very cool and we can turn down the velocity to about 20 because we don't want them to move actually maybe about we'll make it 10 actually we don't want them moving moving at or maybe even five because they will move around a lot we just want them relatively still and what we can do we can go down to emission extras and turn up the pre-run to 100 just gonna make it so if we were at the start that they're all gonna start at frame one we can go down to particle and I like to have my quite small so I think I'll probably drop them down to about mm, four maybe about yeah about four for me and we can also change the transfer mode to add and we can change the life per second up quite a lot and I didn't think of that because now we'll have to put the particles so uh, we want to make it um, I'm in frames at the moment so let me just change this. Oh, come on. Hell. Um, so you want to make it about the same length as your uh, project's going to be. So I'm going to do about 10 seconds. Oh, that was the size. My bad. So I'll just put the life to about 10 seconds. Uh, maybe I'll put it up to 15 and I'm just going to take down because that's meaning that they're going to stay there longer We probably want to just decrease the particles down to maybe 175 Maybe less than that About 150 Even less, say 100 then 
maybe even less. <laughs> uh, we'll put it at 80. Alright, we'll leave it there for now. Come in, you can always come back and change it. So that it's looking pretty good. Um, just seeing if there's anything else. Uh, no problem with that. That is good for the sm uh, stars. Now, if we were just on so that, you can't actually see them, which could be a slight problem. But anyway, we will uh, just carry on. So now we, what we can do is we can duplicate this layer, and then we can rename this Partic uh, Partic U Partic U Large Smoke, and we can then just mess around with some of the settings on this. So what we can do is we can go down to the particle and then the particle type we can change it to cloud that which is just going to make them sort of clouds and then we can pump up the size to a lot like so so it's filling most of the screen and then just take the opacity down to maybe 20 something like that. no less than that we take opacity down to actually one as you can see we get this quite cool smoke I'm just going to put the size up maybe a bit more like that and then we can just go to the opacity of our layer by pressing T and we can just slowly mess around with this until we get something that looks good so it's just a subtle feature and just something in the background like so so we unsolo these you can't actually tell this isn't probably the best example of where we would want it but we could uh, just like change the color slightly so I'm gonna mean I'm gonna make the smoke you won't be able to really see unless it's on dead black but I'm just gonna make it sort of greenish color and then the stars I'll make something we can sort of see turquoisey So as you can sort of see it, and then we can just add some glow onto the stars along with maybe so we can add some glow uh, star glow um, just change change the length maybe five actually less than that about two and we can colorize them this is just you know, I'm just going on some sort of stuff you could do I'm gonna change these to a blue bush or color make it slightly darker like that and you know, I'm just messing around but they're, they're the sort of things that you can do so you can, can create some really nice sort of um, smoke and um, stars so yeah that is the tutorial guys I hope you enjoyed if so then please leave a like and expect some more tutorials from my uh, baker edit to be out soon and yeah um, I've got quite a lot of ideas. I've already recorded one, which is on like the end pulses. I'm gonna do one on the gun morph transition, um, sort of the flashing of the pe of the people at the start, um, and some motion track signs as well. Um, I've done one on the engraved headshot, which will be at the end with an annotation if you haven't seen it. So go check that out. That was quite a requested tutorial and was pretty cool. So yeah, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you on the next one. Thanks.